Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is McKenna. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but yes. <laughs> As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing a lip swatch video. Today we are swatching Just Colors liquid lipsticks. <laughs> this is my first time ever trying anything from Dose of Colors and I ordered these I believe on Black Friday because typically their lipsticks are $18 however Dose of Colors was having a 40% off Black Friday sale so the lipsticks were like $10.80 if I'm remembering correctly um, so I picked up five of the shades and then I picked up an extra one but I got that for my sister. So as always with my lip swatching videos I'm going to swatch them on clean lips no aquaphor no nothing plain slate and then I will come to you guys at the very end with all of my thoughts, comments, concerns, questions, all of the above at the very end of the video. I thought this was pretty cute for the holiday season for winter time. It has these little snowflakes and the packaging is white and blue and then of course on the bottom it has the name of the actual matte liquid lipstick. And one of the lipsticks that I did pick up was from the Desi Perkins and Luster Lux or Katie as she is on Instagram. Um, I picked up one of their lipsticks from their collaboration and I got Sauvage. And this is just to show you guys what the packaging does look like. It has their signatures on the side and then of course it has the name of the lipstick on the bottom. And just in case you guys were wondering, these lipsticks are cruelty free, gluten free, paraben free, and vegan. So straight out of the box, just comparing, you guys can see the difference between the two. This is the Desi Perkins and Luster Lux collaboration. It has this beautiful nude tube and then the wand itself um, is this rose gold type of color. And then of course it does have the name on the bottom of the lipstick. For all the other liquid lipsticks, it comes in this frosted matte container and then it of course has the name on the bottom of the lipstick. It has this silver trim in between the wand and then the white top for the wand. And then all of the lipsticks do come with this doe foot applicator. Last, last. Those are all five lip shades. If you guys can't tell, this one was my favorite. However, Merlot is a very, very close. I love a dark, vampy lip, and I love a good red lipstick. So just going down the list with my commentary, I feel like Sauvage was a little bit of a different formula. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, it was a little bit creamier in consistency. However, that's not a bad thing. I typically like when liquid lipsticks are that thick, creamy consistency because it doesn't feel cheap, and then also it's not super crumbly and crackly. Moving on to Los Angeles, it had like a slight scent to it and this was the only one that I noticed had some kind of scent to it. It smelled like cotton candy so it wasn't anything um, that was like off-putting. I just noticed it was like that smells like cotton candy. Um, so just, you know, something I noticed. With Merlot, that was the only lipstick that did stain my lips, and I'll make sure that I insert some footage here so that you guys can see that, but it definitely stained my lips. All the other ones, they came off um, pretty good. I ended up putting on foundation on my lips uh, the rest of the time, but that one was very, very pigmented, but it did stain my lips, so that's just something to keep in mind. But overall, all of them had this creamy texture that just were gliding on, effortlessly went on. You only need one coating. It's very full coverage. They dry completely matte and you don't have that restricted feeling once it is on your lips and it is settled in. It does settle into the wrinkles of your lips however you don't get that like butthole crumbly mouth if you know what I'm talking about. And most importantly it dries very very quickly. There are some liquid lipsticks that I've tried that take forever and a day to dry but these dry pretty quickly like under like four to five minutes under that. I don't know I'm not timing it so don't like quote me but they dry very quickly. And most importantly 
they're transfer proof so you can definitely wear these on a date night you can wear them when you're eating however I would definitely keep them in my purse to reapply them and that transitions into the next thing that I wanted to say these come off fairly easily as always I use my elf cleansing cloth to take my lipsticks off and I don't have to scrub my lips I don't have to raw them out they come off very easily so you guys that's all that I have for you as always thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys have any questions comments concerns anything that I didn't mention go ahead and comment down below I was gonna say I always want to say the description box you cannot comment in the description box. Anywho, if you guys want to see me swatch a particular brand or if you want to see any type of video, comment that down in the comment box, not in the description box. Um, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. So Trying to slow it down, stay close to the ground, but we're always in a hurry now. And if I could make this world spin a little slower.